When he was a teenager, Marco Perez received an important postcard that would save hundreds of people's lives. From that day on, every fortnight he would disappear for two hours to undertake a very important errand. And when he hit a significant landmark, everyone would learn what his secret mission had been for the past 34 years. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot, and here is this mailman disappeared every fortnight for 34 years. But now the truth has finally come out. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Perez lives in San Antonio, Texas, and he's worked as a mailman in the area for the past 27 years. But the 57-year-old didn't have the easiest starts to life. He was born prematurely, in fact, and required a blood transfusion in order to survive. When I was growing up, my dad told me a friend of his donated blood for me. Perez subsequently recalled in an interview with Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. His name was Mr. Aguilar. He took the time to donate, so he saved my life. It was a gesture that Perez has never forgotten. Perez and Aguilar remained friends to this day, in fact. Moreover, when Perez's dad passed away a year ago, Aguilar stepped up and took on more of a fatherly role to the mailman. And it turned out that in Perez's teenage years, he found a secret way to express his gratitude towards the man who'd saved his life as a baby. One day, the then-teenage Perez received an important postcard that would inadvertently save hundreds of lives. The postcard was from a blood bank, and they were looking for volunteers to make donations. Knowing what Aguilar had done for him, Perez consequently decided to step forward. Perez soon headed to the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center STBTC, to find out how to donate blood. And when he was accepted and realized how easy it was, Perez was all in. He learned that it wasn't a one-off procedure and that he could continue making donations. So he did. Since that day, in fact, Perez's mission has been to donate blood as often as he can. So he's been returning to the blood bank for the past 34 years. Over time, of course, that amounted to a lot of blood, and eventually he hit an incredible milestone. In July 2017, Perez became one of only a handful of people in South Texas to have donated 100 gallons of blood in their lifetime. Moreover, the feat was accomplished by making a very specific donation. It's one that allows him to make donations more frequently than other ways of giving blood. Perez donates blood platelets. It's a method only available at certain Red Cross donation centers across America and is not an option at drop-in blood drives. It was thankfully on offer to Perez at his local blood donation center, and he's used the same method for the past 34 years. This particular method involves only the platelets being extracted from the bloodstream, while the rest of the blood is returned to the body. The resulting yield can provide enough stock for two or three patients, the equivalent of what would normally be collected from five orthodox donations. The process allows for a donor to make more donations throughout the year compared to a more conventional blood donation method. In Perez's case, he was able to make 24 trips a year to the STBTC compared to the more usual six. Platelets must be used within five days of donation, however, far less than the six weeks for typical blood donations. Still, this short time span tends to not be a problem as it's estimated that someone in the US is in need of platelets every 30 seconds. That equates to around 1 million transfusions per year. Platelets are in high demand then particularly among cancer patients. While undergoing cancer treatment, a patient will experience a significant drop in the number of platelets in their blood as a side effect. They aid blood clotting, so platelet transfusions can provide life-saving for cancer patients. Platelets also assist those recovering from major surgeries and anyone who's undergone a transplant. So, with such high demand, Perez's contribution made a big impact. The STBTC, in fact, estimates that the mailman has helped save the lives of more than 1,500 people. STBTC Corporate Communications Specialist Roger Ruiz told Ken's 5, Mr. Perez is what you consider an all-star for the blood community here in South Texas. He's probably saved patients going through cancer treatments, patients who have been in car accidents, patients who have blood disorders. As Perez celebrated his 100-gallon landmark, he stressed the importance of platelet donation. They might live an extra day, a year, a month, who knows, he told Ken's five. Maybe they'll live forever. 
somebody needs these platelets and there's no platelets on the shelf Perez's own donation amounts to around two and a half gallons a year he's among four all-star donors at the center who have donated in excess of a hundred gallons of blood in their lifetimes among them is a fellow postal worker as well as a donor who surpassed 115 gallons and another close to the 120 gallon milestone for Perez donating is simple and its simplicity that he emphasizes in order to encourage others to donate if you make time to go eat you make time to go to the movies you can make time to donate he told Ken's five just make some time give from the heart that's what it takes you got to give from the heart blood banks constantly need to replenish their stocks and as Perez has proven you're never too young or too old to contribute as he told Ken's five regarding his own donations don't cost me a dime only some time I'm 57 and I've already got hundred gallons these other people are in their 70s or 80s Perez then has no plans to stop making his bi-weekly visit to the STBTC to donate platelets there's a lot of sick people out there that we don't know about he told inside edition I'll just keep donating until the blood bank says I can't donate anymore it's just giving showing love for a fellow human being